If you want to get involved, just head to the iMove London website. The red carpet is out in London today as nominees for the South Bank Awards take to the Strand. The event is in its 22nd year and is the only one of its kind to cover the entire spectrum of the British arts. Our reporter Alex Isaac is outside the Savoy now and can tell us more. Alex. So yeah, here we are on the red carpet. A number of stars from all range of the arts have already walked down, and it's all in aid of the Sky, South Bank Sky Arts Award. That means that they cover everything from music to film to sculpture. I spoke to Melvin Bragg earlier, and he told me about what he thinks about the event. In this room, there'll be Stormzy with Danielle Denise, uh, with the people from the symphony orchestra, with the literary people all mingled up together, and I think that's as it should be. Obviously, some of these people are going to be brand new to the audience as well. I mean, how are the nominations uh, found? Well, we have an independent panel, and there are... Uh, I don't get a say, you see. This is the truth. I don't get a say. I don't know who the nominations are until they come through. Uh, people like yourself, journalists, uh, artists, and so on, write ten of them, and then after a year, they, they pick the three nominees, and then they choose the winners, and then they, they, we're lucky, they tell us. Yeah, and actually, they work very, very hard, and they see everything they possibly can. And one of the great things about the South Bank show and the South Bank Awards is they're kind of effortlessly diverse. I think that's one of the, the sort of key cornerstones of the stuff that Melvin's been doing for very many years and sort of continues to do actually yeah well we're looking forward to the 23rd year as well then <laughs> well let's get this one over. <laughs> yes yes we're, we're just one waiting for a glass of red time, wine aren't we now this event is in its 22nd year and obviously it will keep going on and on and on all the creative performers out there and one of those performers is up for the outstanding achievement award and that's benedict cumberbatch I'm incredibly honoured and, and humbled by it. Um, it's, it's a sort of extraordinary thing, uh, especially when you consider past recipients that include the likes of Judy Dench and um, Judy Waters and well, Melvin himself, but also playwrights like Michael Frayn and Sir Tom Stoppard and Richard Eyre. I mean, these are extraordinary people who've given uh, uh, you know, many more years to the arts and culture at large, so it's, it's a massive... Um, Oh, no, and I'm, I'm incredibly flattered yeah, to be included in that number. So do you think this kind of awards uh, ceremony is really important for the whole of the British arts? I do, because it's unique in celebrating the arts in their entirety, and we've got such a richly diverse and inspiring range of uh, cultural achievements that are being celebrated today, both through nominations and wins, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it, it, it's honour enough for me to be in that room, let alone standing up at some point and saying something of gratitude at the end. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. I, I've been here a couple of times, but once, once um, with a program, and uh, once before, I, th I just think with a friend. I can't remember, but it was. It's always a lovely afternoon, and you get to see a really, truly inspiring range of talent and artists. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a good, it's a good one. So this award ceremony will continue today, and you can just feel the buzz around as the nominations head into the red carpet. Thank you, Alex. Look forward to heading back and finding out more a little bit later on in the programme. But Welcome back to London Live News. The red carpet is out in London today as nominees for the South Bank Awards take to the Strand. The event is now in its 22nd year and it's said to be the only one of its kind to cover the entire spectrum of the British art. Our reporter Alex Isat is outside the Savoy speaking uh, to all the big names coming down and can tell us more. Alex. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. There are a host of outstanding performers that are walking down this red carpet as we speak, heading to, into the nominations to see who will achieve most astounding achievement awards, all the way from um, comedy to music to dance. Well, earlier I spoke to uh, Reese and Steve, probably best known for the League of Gentlemen, but they were talking to us about their new nominated show. We really like these awards because it's, uh, you know, it's not just television people, it's people from different disciplines and you never know who you're going to be sitting with. And, um, yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, they are nice awards because it's not like a room full of comedians, which is... Who all hate each other. All hate each other, <laughs> so, yeah, lots of different... Um, Obviously, uh, you're going to be doing a live show for Halloween, as, as, as the rumours. Oh, yes, yeah, that's right, we are, yeah. Before then, we've got our League of Gentlemen tour, so we can't really think about the live uh, number nine, but yes, we are doing that, yeah. You can't give us a little bit of an insight, a little bit of exclusive? Never. Oh, no, never. That's the point about Inside Number Nine. No one ever knows what's going to happen, so especially on that night, we want people to go into it knowing very little, but uh, it'll be a spooky story. 
that we'll go into it knowing very little. <laughs> so you're, the League of Gentlemen tour, obviously, that's is going to come out after all of this. Are you, are you ready to go on tour again? We start rehearsing it tomorrow, which is great, yeah, so it's all written. And we've just got a month of rehearsal, about six weeks, and then we start in August the 4th, is it? Yeah, we're starting sort of in the West Country, and we're going to Ireland, we're going to Scotland, all over England. And, you know, we started off doing live shows in League of Gentlemen, albeit much smaller venues. And uh, it's, it's one of our main loves, is, is getting out and doing it to a live audience. So it's been about 13, 14 years since our last tour, and we're very excited to get back out on the road again. Your fan base is crazy excited. I mean, they've been following you for a long time. How does that feel? It's good. I mean, it's great that people still remember it. I'm, I was astonished that there was such interest, you know. It's lovely to um, have people come out the woodwork and want to see us again. I think there must be people that have never seen it live as well, so we've got some new fans along the way. People want to see Mark and Sherlock as Mycroft, mainly. So just go back to today's event. Um, obviously, it's happening soon. I mean, but generally, how do you feel about this being an all-encompassing arts for, for British talent? It's brilliant. It, it's uh, like I say, it's one of the most exciting awards to come to, and um, I think it's great to celebrate. You know, all these different genres, all these different disciplines, and um, we're just fortunate to be here. Um, you know, with our our third project that we've done because we won once before for the League of Gentlemen and then we did Psychoville which picked up some awards and so have a third thing which is still you know you've got to keep reinventing yourself and keep relevant uh, when you're old people like we are so it's amazing that we're able to be nominated for yeah. things. And they're quick, they're very quick awards and you get to the dinner very quickly which is great. So the creative talent are still coming down this red carpet but we'll be bringing you all the awards winners later. Thank you very much, Alex. Look forward to hearing more about that.